You have your Nikon camera and you're ready to add some lenses to expand your kit. However, depending on your budget and needs, there are a lot of choices out there and it may not be easy to narrow down your choices. In this video, we're breaking down the best three Nikon lenses on the market this year based on price, performance, features, and situations they'll be used in. Whether you're looking for a wide angle lens or a super telephoto Nikon lens, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which Nikon lens will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So for the most up-to-date information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll be looking at the Nikon AF-S Nikkor 50mm f1.8 G, our choice for best budget 50mm prime Nikon lens. The Nikon AF-S Nikkor 50mm f1.8 G is one of the best budget 50mm prime Nikon lenses available and lists for about $220. It delivers the quality optics of a fixed portrait lens and its large aperture is great for low light photography and the shallow depth of field isolates subjects from the background beautifully. The f1.8 G has a modified optical design with 7 optical elements in 6 groups with one aspherical element to reduce coma and chromatic aberrations. And as a result of improved design, the front lens element doesn't extend or rotate during autofocus, so you can go ahead and use circular filters and filter holders. The Nikon AF-S Nikkor 50mm f1.8 G also features a super integrated coating, which helps reduce lens flare and ghosting. The lens is designed to work on both Nikon FX and DX sensors although it is best suited on FX sensors for everyday photography. On DX sensors, the lens is equivalent to a 75mm lens, which is perfect for portraiture, but a little too long for other types of photography. The focus ring is located on the front of the barrel, making it easy to manually focus with a thumb and index finger while shooting images or video. The lens comes with a lens hood that snaps on the front and sits tight without wobbling. The M, A, and M switch on the side of the lens allow autofocus and manual focus override and full manual focus operation. The latest Nikon DSLRs like Nikon D5100 immediately recognize the focus position and provide notifications on the information screen. The Nikon AF-S Nikkor 50mm f1.8 G sets new standards in 50mm fixed lens performance for Nikon mount. It's sharp, great for low light, and delivers all the qualities you would expect from a good quality fixed portrait lens, making it one of the best budget 50mm prime Nikon lenses on the market. Next, we'll start with the Sigma 150-600mm f5-6.3, our choice for best super telephoto Nikon lens. The Sigma 150-600mm f5-6.3 lens fits Nikon F cameras, and retails for around $900 and delivers incredible telephoto reach, fast focusing, and solid image stabilization, making it one of the best super telephoto lenses for your Nikon camera. This is a big heavy lens, but that's not too surprising when you consider its maximum reach, full frame sensor coverage, and sturdy build. With a lens this size, you'll find mounting your camera on a tripod won't work well. To get around this, Sigma includes a removable tripod collar that lets you mount the lens to the tripod, balancing the weight and taking the stress off the camera's lens mount. And if you're a wildlife photographer or spend a lot of time shooting outdoors, the 150-600mm f5-6.3 has a seal around its lens mount, which protects it from moderate rainfall. Ahead of the collar, you'll find a number of switches. The focus switch has three positions, AF and MF, as well as MO, which gives you manual override. The lens stays in autofocus mode, but lets you adjust the focus manually with the manual focus ring after the camera has locked focus. Below that is a focus limiter that lets you set the lens to cover the full range, only hunt from 10 meters to infinity, or only look for close subjects from the minimum 2.8 meter focus distance through 10 meters. And the OS switch toggles the optical stabilization mode. There's a bit of an edge softness and color fringing at its maximum telephoto setting, and mild pincushion distortion throughout the zoom range, but all these are acceptable trade-offs when you factor in the cost, size, and weight of this lens. The Sigma 150-600mm f5-6.3 delivers extraordinary image quality and telephoto reach, and is tack sharp throughout almost all of the frame even at its maximum aperture, making it one of the best super telephoto lenses on the market for your Nikon camera. 
blast, we'll be looking at the Nikon AFP DX Nikkor 10-20mm f4.5-5.6G, to .6G, our choice for best value wide-angle Nikon lens. The Nikon AFP DX Nikkor 10-20mm f4.5-5.6G to .5 to .6G retails for around $320 and is one of the best value wide-angle Nikon lenses you can get. It covers wide angles, making it a solid option for landscapes, travel, and shooting in tight spaces. The barrel of the lens is polycarbonate, and certain corners have been cut to keep the price down. Instead of the lens name being embossed on the barrel and painted in gold, it's simply printed on a sticker. Also, the lens mount itself is plastic, while most lenses have metal mounts. It's not a huge call for concern, especially when you consider how lightweight the lens is at 8.2 ounces. The zoom ring takes up most of the barrel, and it's marked at 10, 12, 14, 16, and 20 millimeters. And the manual focus ring is located just behind the front element. The lens focuses fairly close to 9.6 inches throughout its focal range. It's not a macro, but it does deliver a decent 1 to 5.9 magnification ratio. The AFP designation means that this lens is driven by a pulse motor, a type that works best with lightweight optics and delivers quick, quiet, and smooth focus. The combo of the quiet focus, along with optical stabilization, also makes the 10-20mm a good choice for handheld video work. The system is effective in removing jitters and shutters from handheld video and can even be useful for certain types of still shots where a moving subject would produce motion trails while the background stays in sharp focus. The Nikon AFP DX Nikkor 10-20mm f4.5-5.6G to 5 to 5 .6 G has some big things going for it, including an ultra-wide field of view to capture huge swaths of landscape, its sharp optics, featherweight build, optical stabilization, and its attractive price makes it one of the best wide-angle Nikon lenses around, and a hard option to beat in terms of bang for your buck. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now. So if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.